Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA from Italy and it is called The Strange. This is a collaboration between Infinity Mods, RSS and Sunbox. So you've got three Italian companies all coming together and they've produced this little guy here. It's a 22mm RDA and it is not your usual kind of RDA that we see these days. All the decks seem to be following the same kind of theme, but this is very different and it is strange. Hence the name, the Strange RDA. I've had a quick Google and uh, yeah, I found this in the UK. Squonk Radar have got it. It's uh, £115 and I think this is limited. It's a limited run of 500 for this RDA and I have no idea how many have been sold. But there are still some in stock in Squonk Radar at this moment in time. This one has taken a little bit of... A learning curve for me. Well, maybe not a learning curve, but forgetting stuff. I've had to go back uh, to building how I, I used to build in the past uh, because this, this really works at its best with two and a half mil inner diameter coils, or at least that's what I found. And I've seen that other people are actually using stainless steel mesh as a wick for this as well. Uh, so there's lots of things you can do with it, but I'll cover all that in the close-ups and the summary at the end. When your little RDA arrives, uh, you'll see it comes in this tub and we have this lovely design on here and this is actually reflected on the base of the RDA as well, which you'll see in a second. But you can see it's 500 LE, so there's only five, well, there's slightly more than 500. But uh, on the side you can see that we've got RSS mods, we have Sunbox and we have Infinity mods. Uh, we have a serial number that will appear on the bottom and, and that's pretty much it for the tub. Inside you're going to find one Allen key. You'll find a bag full of O-rings and spare terminal screws and you'll also find a gold-plated 510 pin. This is just a standard 510 pin if you want to drip but it came installed with a squonking pin. You also get a 24mm beauty ring, this is stainless steel 316, and in fact the rest of the Atti is stainless steel 316 as well, so there we go, that's what it looks like with the beauty ring, uh, without it you are looking at 22 millimeters in diameter and not including the Delrin drip tip and the 510 at the bottom, it is 18.5 millimeters in height. On the base we have that design that I was talking about that appears on the top of the box. Uh, the squonk pin is pre-installed and we have peak insulators, 316 stainless steel everywhere. And we have this like, I'm going to be, this is, it looks like a bottle cap. To me that's, that's what it reminds me of is with this finishing it's almost like a bottle cap. And we have these slots going down here which is reflected in the design of the drip tip as well. And the drip tip bore is about 6 millimetres. Going to grab my little Atti Dock uh, 510 stand. We'll screw this down and pull this off. Now the O-rings are spot on. Uh, I have no issues with the, the O-rings on this. They hold the top cap on very well. You can adjust the airflow. You can spin the top cap, no problem at all. There's nothing exciting going on inside the top cap here, but I mean, the, the machining, I have, I have no issues with the machining on this. It's really the, you know, the actual deck. That's where everything is a bit strange on this one. Uh, so uh, we have this uh, airflow ring going round here. I should have left this on my Atti dock but if I spin this round, click, we have different air hole sizes. So what I'll do is I'll pull this off. That just comes off like this. You can see your, your main hole is here but this little airflow ring here starts from here 1.5 by 5 millimeters this one here is 1 by 4 millimeters this is just 1.5 this is i think this is 1.2 and that is one millimeter there you can also leave that off altogether if you wanted to and just use the you know just the air hole here and the top cap and that's about two by five millimeters they did a good job with this. I mean, it spins easy. I mean, the way it works is if we look on the back, you can see that we've actually got a little ball bearing in there. Uh, and, you know, it's, there's notches going around in the inside there. So it gets firmly stuck in place. You know, so when you spin the top cap, this doesn't move as well. So the job's a good one on that one. The deck is 
Yes, this is a bit strange. Um, you do have, it's quite strange on the squonking front. Uh, so when you squonk, juice comes up in the center. But if we look at the positive post just here, there is a hole in the positive post. So juice comes out the top and saturates the top of your coil. Uh, because this is a vertical coil RDA. You are going to use more traditional builds for this. I would just say 2.5 inner diameter coils. That's as big as I would go with this. I'm just going to undo my screws here and uh, you'll kind of see what I mean about leaving the, the AFC ring off because this little guy in here, see how low down that is? It can be a bit tricky getting your wire around this. Now one little trick or want something that might help somebody if they get this is that when I wrap my coil, I'm not doing anything fancy, this is a space coil, I take my coiling rod and I kind of like pop it here and then I just Hopefully this shows up. I just kind of like wrap my wire round there again. So I've got like kind of a curve like that going on. It just means that, you know, it just helps me when I'm putting my coil into place on the RDA. Now, I hope you can see this okay, but I'm actually doing this back to front, which uh, <laughs> could be fun. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the coil and I'm just going to drop it in there. But taking this leg here and almost take it out the airflow slot there. Uh, so take that out there like that. So that's just kind of like drop around there like that. And then hopefully you can see how that's going on there. What I would do is I would get a coiling rod or something and drop it down the center of the coil. And then you can, hopefully you'll see that I can move this into position and then I can pull the wire. See, I'm pulling it through the air hole slot there and then get everything just kind of lined up the way perfectly, the way I want it. Now, as always, I've kind of gone to the extreme here for the wire. I mean, that's 24 gauge uh, A1 Canthal. I've used Inno wire uh, 26 and 27 gauge and it actually works better. I mean, this is coming out at 0 0.4 ohm, which is just a bit much for, for this, but uh, once again, this is just the extreme. This is the rowdiest build I actually tried in this. But once again, I just want to say that when you're building this and you're coiling it, do that little trick of wrapping your wire around the rod, drop it into place, take the excess wire out through that slot there, use a coiling rod to hold everything in place, tighten this off, and, and it's easy. When you first get it, it is a ball ache, and I hated building on this. But then just applying some of the, the tricks that you, you used back in the day, and, and it's pretty straightforward. But two and a half mil inner diameter coils, uh, I, that's as much as I would go for. Now cotton, uh, you could pass your cotton down from the top and then it's coming out the bottom or you could take it in from the bottom and then make yourself a little hook and pull it out the top. Whatever way you want to do it, whatever way works best for you, I, I prefer taking it down in from the top. So taking it down from the top, I mean, I've just poked it down there. I can use a bit of wire and continue to poke the wire down. It, it, it's no great hardship. Uh, get you a bit of wire, put a little bit of hook around it, or, or just fish the wire out at the bottom, f fish the wire out, fish the cotton out at the bottom. It'll come out like that. And then pulling it out like that. Just a little bit at a time. Once again, um, it, it looks like a great hardship on camera. It's not really. It doesn't take long at all. Now all I'm doing is I'm just pushing that cotton right into the back. Uh, so there was, it's going behind the coil here. And what I've ended up with here is at the back, I've got a little bit of cotton at the back here. The coil's just sitting above that squonk hole. We also have that squonk hole that is sitting just above where that cotton is there. And I've got my ears going to come in and hopefully we'll just smack off that coil there. So once again, when you're squonking, you're going to get juice coming out up the top and down the bottom. So we'll give this a little go here just now. Squonk away. I don't know if you'll be able to see the, the juice coming out here, but uh, believe me, it does work. Uh, and yes, you will get juice coming out onto the top of your coil. You can actually see here that uh, if I get my bit of wire, you can see that the, you know, the cotton here is actually saturated already. And that's coming from the hole that's actually here. I'm going to grab the beauty ring and we'll use that. I'm going to use my regadillo. Uh, from Armadillo Mods and we'll pop that on here and that's me ready to go.
So, right, let's go up top and we'll have a vape. So how has life been with The Strange? Uh, right, uh, as I said in the close-ups and maybe at the beginning, I can't remember, um, building in this to begin with was a bit of a pain. I thought the coil had to be at the front, right next to the air hole, but it whistled and, and it wasn't that great. And uh, Simon McDermott, um, Mr. Bobag himself, uh, did a tutorial video in The Strange Facebook group and my Facebook group and that was a great help. Uh, so that is the build. I've got the build nailed now and I find that you know doing it the way I've done it just makes it really easy and I don't find an issue actually getting the coils in there anymore. Putting the cotton in, you do have a choice. I mean I like to put the cotton to the back uh, and have it spread there and cut short at the top and you know for the way you're building on this I find that I don't get any dry hits or anything like that. But you can also, if you want, you could split the cotton and have the cotton at the front of the deck as well. It's entirely up to you, whatever you find easiest and what you prefer, but it works both ways. Having that cotton at the front as well will help also if you over squonk because it's going to catch the juice and stop it coming out the air hole. But uh, I just prefer it the way I showed you in the close-ups. The builds will be, uh, and once again, that 24 gauge, uh, just A1 Canthal, that is the, the biggest build that I've put in this. And, and that's that's it. I think that's as big as you would go with this. I wouldn't recommend going any bigger, you know, than an inner diameter of two and a half millimeters. Uh, that is what it's designed for. And, and it works to a point. For me, the flavour on this one, and I'll cover airflow and stuff like that in a second. I like dessert flavours, my cakes, uh, you know, the custard from uh, Jedi's Punk that, that Simon gave me, stuff like that. I really enjoy it. But for me personally, I just do not find that this performs that great with cakey flavours, dessert flavours and whatnot. Now, if I put in a uh, lemon crack, um, which is something else I enjoy vaping just now, uh, a menthol-y lemon, you know, black currant and that kind of flavour, it's brilliant. It's like almost, and this I know this might not make any sense to anybody but me, but it reminds me of a, the, the kind of vape you got from a Genesis Atomizer in that the flavour seems to work best when it's, I would imagine it's going to be with like a tobacco or some kind of strong fruity flavour. Dessert flavours, the ones that I've tried in here, I do not get the same flavour I get from my other RDAs. It just doesn't work in that front, but I get a better flavour with fruits and menthols than I do from my other RDAs. Strange, but but that's what I found. I mean, right now, I mean, that's I'm at 24 watts on a 0 0.4 ohm coil and... You can get a fair bit of vapour out of that, but then um, that's... And this isn't plugging a juice, but, um, but lemon crack. Um, I've said in the past that it's like lockets. You get the honey, you get that whole locket thing going on. I'm really getting the honey in this stronger than I get in other RDAs. And, and that, that kind of baffles me how it's working in this one. But that's the result I'm getting. Uh, the airflow is quite clever. Uh, I like the fact that you've got that little ball bearing in the back and you can click it round. And if you want a mouth to lung vape, you'll damn you'll get it from this. You can really do a proper mouth to lung vape. Obviously the coil I've got in here just now isn't ideal, but I've taken it down to the one mil air hole and I'm just at 12 and a half watts here. It's, it's, that's mouth to lung. There's no two ways about it. It really is a mouth to lung vape. The only thing is, of course, if you're changing that airflow, it's going to be covered in e-liquid as well. So you will get a bit messy if you're going to be changing that about. But, you know, once you've got that coil in, the coil you've built, the chances are you aren't going to be changing that airflow much anyway. I have no issues with squonking with this. It squonks well. I think the, the little hole up the top of the positive post is very clever and it works. Um, I find it hard to over squonk with this. I can give a good hard push in the squonk bottle and it doesn't 
piss juice everywhere. Uh, the machining on it is done very well uh, sometimes, and I'm, I'm not afraid to say this, some Italian atties that I get, the machining isn't always the best, but this one is, is done, yeah, there's no burrs or, or anything like that, it's done quite well. Once again, I'm not, I'm not going to butter this up, I'm not going to make it sound better than it actually is. It's, a, it's, it's almost a, a crossover between old and new. It's, it's 22 mil. It's, it, it's got its own design look. It's very Italian looking. Uh, some people love that. Some people don't. Uh, but inside and vaping with it, it's very strange. Very strange. And I think that it's not going to appeal to everybody. I would hand on heart say for me, if you vape desserts, um, it wouldn't be one I would choose. I just wouldn't. Uh, if you like fruity menthols, tobaccos, things like that, then yes, it gives a good vape. It's uh, the, at, at its most open with that airflow ring on it, it's a, a very restricted direct lung down to a full proper mouth to lung. My final thoughts on it, uh, as I've been saying all the way, you, you really, it, it really only works for certain flavour profiles or, or tastes, however you want to say it. Uh, if you're into desserts, I just it wouldn't be one that I personally would go for or use. Um, fruits, menthols and tobaccos, for whatever reason, it just seems to sing with them. Uh, the airflow adjustment's very clever. The, the ring works very well. It just doesn't cover as many bases as I would like and I think it's more geared for the older style vapors, uh, people that have been around for a while. I think newer vapors might struggle with builds in this, uh, but uh, yes. I have enjoyed playing with it. It's been a challenge and, and I've enjoyed, that, that used to be the thing. I'm going off in one now. Uh, you used to get an atty back in the day and you had to work at it to get the best out of it. And that was the attraction and that's what got a lot of people into the hobbyist side of vaping, was that extra little bit of effort you had to put in. And and I've enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've had to do that and, and that, almost makes me like it more than I possibly should. But anyway, I'm just waffling now. Uh, thank you to the guys for giving me this. I did get it free to review. To you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. As always, there will be two videos to the side of me that I think you may be interested in if you like this kind of RDA. Below me, you can click on my face and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.